We are here at Four Pines Park, which is set to be host to a very, very anticipated clash. The match that has pretty much been circled as one of the games for the finals since all the way back at pretty much the beginning of the season. These teams were touted as the teams that were going to be the top two teams. Only loss between these two was last week when Manly defeated the Raiders. It's going to be a very, very good match. You'd have to expect first versus second. Winner goes into a grand final. I am joined here in the commentary box by Jack Carl. What are you expecting in this one? Oh, I'm expecting an absolute clash of the Colossus. Both teams have been incredible this season. The Raiders, they've probably been a touch worse, but very hard to be as good as Manly. And um, they're going to need to try their hearts out today to get the win, to get into the grand final. But it would be quite the event if the Raiders could pull off a, a uh, winning streak breaking win. Yeah, look, obviously, Manly, 20 wins in a row. That is unheard of, unmatched. I don't know if we'll ever be broken. This is one of those records where we look back in season 100 and go, yeah, no one's beating that. Um, you know, Raiders, though, they did go the closest all the way back in season 3. They only lost by a singular field goal, one point. That's the closest that Manly have been to losing their streak. Obviously, last week, uh, you know... 12 points to the difference. Raiders will have to be a lot better enough if they want to challenge this Seagulls team. What do the Raiders have to do to sort of, you know, challenge this manly outfit? Oh, look, I think they have a, I think they have to have a quick start. Um, last week, they weren't that bad. They just, mainly were just that bit better. And um, if the Raiders want to win this game, they're going to have to match it with them. I think the way they do that is uh, with a quick, fast start and uh, get some points on the board early. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Some people are already saying that this, uh, you know, this Manly dynasty is ending this season with a lot of these stars, you know, moving on to other clubs. It's going to be interesting to see how much Manly want, if they really, how badly they want, or if they're sort of already drained. They've won two premierships in a row, haven't lost 20 games on the, on the trot. It's unheard of, and the Raiders, they're going to have to want it that bit more. It's a game of inches. They're just going to want to have to want it more than Manly, which is going to be a big ask, because Manly want every win when possible. It's going to be Luke Thompson, punted in the backfield, not the greatest kick, couldn't find any grass, and well, okay, it's okay, we'll take it there. We'll play it there, just past the 30, goes there, Jesse Bennett with a big run. One of the premier forwards in the competition, playing it on the 40. Goes over to KCK, steps past one, gets tackled on the 50. Goes Will K, Josh Blackburn, over to Malachi Booth. One of the best wingers this season, but they managed to get him pretty well there. Jacob Morrison and Jason Laumu combining there as Will K oh. just runs over the sideline. And just like that, Manly get a cough up possession. What has happened there? That's not very Manly-like. Will K just on the sideline for some reason takes the bars. I don't know why. What has happened there with Manly? That is, that is a, um, that's a weird error for them to give up. I, okay, I must have just not realised he was that close to the sideline there, surely. Like, he just he just must have not been aware. It was a, I see what they were trying to do. They sort of had a bit of space down there, but he just caught it on the touchline. And, well, Raiders, they'll get the first real attacking opportunity here. Maybe they can put themselves in a position for maybe the attack and kick. As they're going to go out to Jake and Morrison here. They're holding him up pretty well there, Manly. Big of all, play it there. 30 out now. It's going to go there to Jordan Lewis. He'll play on the fifth tackle now. They're going to put an attack and kick here, I think. It's going to be Jack O'Neill. Puts a grubber kick in. But they're going to say that he knocked it on. And that's, that's an unfortunate end to the set. Yeah, that is an unfortunate end to the set. Like I said, they need to get points on early, the Raiders. They may not have too many opportunities if Manly uh, starts to get away from them. They can't be wasting opportunities like that. As Blackburn almost goes over the sideline again. Almost another sideline error. They need to be more careful, Manly. Yeah, they're attacking the wings here quite rapidly, Manly. Blackburn, I thought he was going over the sideline there. He did well there. Great balance and awareness there to keep himself in. Just, he was probably only a couple centimeters away there from the sideline. So, you know, good work there. But something that Manly always do well is they have a really good line spin. And you struggle to make meters, you know, from anywhere in the park. You know, Raiders started to sit on their 40. Couldn't even get really, only just got, actually only just got past the 30. So, 
You know, that's what they have great as well. Okay, now takes on the line on the last. Gets an offload to Jesse Bennett. That wasn't the way he needed to go with the, there. And Manly get stopped there. Danger signs though early, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I'm not sure about that play from Will K again. He took the line on. It looked pretty decent. I mean, they won't be too upset about where they're turning the ball over deep in their half. I don't think he should have offloaded it, though. If he hangs on to it, Raiders are trapped in their own 10. Yeah, I mean, and it wasn't even just that. He had numbers on the outside, but he chose to go back inside. A strange decision there, I'd have to say. I will say, but I don't mind the idea of taking a the tackle. They've got Corey Bell. I know how dangerous of a player he is, so maybe it's a strategy to sort of limit the opportunities he can get, and by that, just sort of keeping the ball on Jack and Morris inside the field as they thread it over as an intercept there. Oh. Let us Prakash. He'll be taken by Tim James. And Raiders can't be making those errors. They cannot be making those errors. They've just invited Manly to score here. Yeah, I have to agree there. You know, Manly, they're sort of... They're very good at just taking their opportunities when they get them. They may only get two opportunities, three, four opportunities a game, but they'll score three or four tries a game and win the game. Simple as that. They just take every opportunity and... Raiders got to have some good defense here as it goes over to Will K. Had an interesting start, Will K. Had a couple errors to his game, a couple of interesting decisions, but so he goes as Jesse Bennett pushes forward. He'll play the ball a meter out from the line here. Looking for a good play here. Goes Will K. Takes on the line. Is he going to get held up? He is not, and that's a oh, try. Oh. They're saying it upstairs, but I don't know why. That looked absolutely brilliant from Will K. He's too strong. He had Taranga Fetu, and I think that's Jordan Williams on him. And uh, he's too strong and pushes past and puts it down. What sort of halfback can just push past Taranga Fehu and Jordan Williams? Took the big man for the Raiders. Probably their two best forwards along with Caval. And, well, he just pushes past like they're nothing. Will K, is that a... We said he had an interesting start. He just takes the line on and just says, you know, it's last tackle. I'll just take it up here. Yeah, well, I think he's just trying to make up for his uh, previous two plays. And uh, boy, did he. Getting the first points for Manly on the board after 10 minutes. The home crowd will be happy with that one. Yeah, he just took on the line there. And well, Manly, they hit an early lead here. And the Raiders, they have to be careful here. They can't let Manly get too much possession. And as we said earlier, Manly just take their opportunities. I think Raiders have probably started with the better field possession early on here. But Manly, they get an intercept. And they pretty much march downfield and... Will K is the one that crosses over, and just like that, Manly are in the lead. As Luke Thompson will get us back on the way here, play is restarted. Cole Lewis gives it to Brad Goodwin, and it's met by he's met by Jordan Williams and Tiranga Halfetu. Goes Cole Lewis, he gives it to Lennox Prakash, the man who, well, he had a good run. I think he might have been the one that got the intercept. He was, yeah. He'll play it there, second tackle. They're gonna go. We'll, Chaz Dingo. They go on the inside, inside. Punch gives it on the inside to Casey K. He'll play it there. It goes Daniel Punch. He takes another run up here. He's getting his hands dirty in this set. That's the fourth tackle. It's going to go to Chaz Dingo now. Short ball there. Once again to Lance Prakash. He's had a pretty good start to the game, Lance Prakash. taken quite a few hit ups. Do you like to see that from the uh, Manly second row? Yeah, it's good stuff. He's just getting himself involved, getting the blood pumping. Uh, I'm not sure what. Their halftime interchanges will look like, but he's got 40 minutes to make an impact. He won't come off at all in this first half, I believe. And uh, he's just getting... He's making his impact while he's on. You have to agree, there. He's just sort of getting himself involved. He's very good at that length, Prakash. You know, if he's on the field, he always likes to get himself involved. See, he's been criticised with, um, you know, sometimes maybe making a few too many errors or something. But I think it's worked well here at Manly. You know, he's been one of the underrated buyers of the season. There's Eli Bars there up the middle. This is good from the Ra Raiders. 15 minutes out now. Fourth tackle. Eli Bart to play it there. Tim James gives it to Jordan Williams. Pushes forward there. Just five meters out now. They didn't put a good kick in here. It's a waste that they do not put in a good kick. Goes Jack O'Neill. Puts it high. That is a good kick. John Boy Marv is going to be under it. But Joey Kelly leaps above. Leap, leaps above, sorry. And catches the ball in the end goal and manly survive. Oh, look, I think the risk with that kind of kick is that, well, Manly have a seven-tackle set now. We know how quickly they make meters. I think Jack O'Neill, if he's going to put that kick up uh, throughout this game, I think he needs to print forward a few more meters. Make sure that even if they don't come down with the ball, Manly don't get a seven-tackle set. 
You have to agree. If I've had John Boy Marvel leaping up for it. I would have thought you would have had, um, obviously Corey Bell leaping up for it. I feel like he has probably the height advantage over, maybe not necessarily height advantage over Joey Kelly, but definitely at least maybe the leap advantage, you know, playing a lot of fullback as KCK charges up the middle there. And just like this, Manly are on the 20. Goes Will K. Sends it over to Dingo. Chaz Dingo pushes forward now. He's just 12 meters out from the line. What's the play going to be here? It goes back. Will K is going to put it high. That's not the kick they needed. Taken though by Casey K. He breaks through the line and it's going to be wrapped up by Corey Bell. Well, it was a wank. It was a it was a wacky kick there from Will K. But uh, Casey K making something of it as he often does. Yeah. Almost gets through, but Corey Bell able to wrap him up. Great stuff there from Casey K. And uh, likewise from the Raiders scramble defense. Yeah, he's just able to bring something out of nothing. As Jack Anil oh. picks up a loose ball. He takes on KCK ankle tap. Gets an offload to Rahul Kaval, the captain. And the Raiders make quick meters there. Jordan Lewis now gives a short there to Fethu. He pushes forward. Tackled there on the 30 now. Goes over to Rahul Kaval. 23 meters out from the try line. Fourth tackle. O'Neal. Short ball to Luke Thompson. He's just not far out from the trial now. They need another good kick here. Jack Anil puts it high. It's probably slightly too deep That's again. Great. Eli Barnes is under it, but KCK catches it with relative ease in the end. Yeah, no, that wasn't the kick. That was not the kick there from Jack O'Neill. He never really gave Eli Barnes a chance. He ended up getting close, but he needs to bring it forward a few more meters. It's, um... It's not great kicking display from Jack O'Neill so far. Yeah, I think, you know, if that was a couple meters forward, I think at the least they get a tackle restart. You know, KSK would bring it down. They would have a tackler come through and make a hopeful tackle in there. And once again, Manly Venice making meters up the field. Jesse Bennett offloads to Daniel Punch, and they're already on the 30. Third tackle now goes to Will K. Short ball there to Hayden Mellert. Playing it there on the 20. Fourth tackle. Kyle Lewis. Not sure what to do. Breaks. Decides to just run himself. Breaks past the skipper, Caval. And that's going to be fifth tackle now. And once again, Manly just did another attacking opportunity to put pressure on the Raiders. Goes Will K. Another wonky kick once again. Taken there by John Boy Marver again. And Will K has another moment that is questionable. Yeah, he's had a few questionable moments over the past few games. I wonder if he's just gone through a bit of a form slump at the moment. He'll uh, want to get that fixed up because his uh, kicking's been a little bit off recently. Yeah, I have to agree. I think it was uh, might have been against... I can't exactly remember the game. But I remember a game a couple of weeks ago. We had a game where he sort of couldn't get the kicking right the entire game. I believe it was against the Eels. Yeah, it might, it might have been actually against the Eels. I believe you're correct there. You know, obviously it doesn't affect them too much given how... Strong of an outfit, they are manly. You know, people make up for it, but... You know, he has... I think Will K has to give the more of the kick into um, Chaz Deacon, because I think his running game is a lot better than... Um, and he needs to run the ball more, pretty much. I think that um, Chaz Deacon should do more of the kick in, and I think they should let um, him, you know, run more. As when he runs, he does some good stuff. Yeah, well, we saw that with the first try of the game. I mean, K just taking the line on and uh, getting himself over. Have to agree here as once again, Manly, but it's charging upfield. Kyle Lewis will play it there on the f just past the 40, in fact. They go over there. Daniel Punch hitting a strong tackle pushback. Not often you see that happen. Aaron Leonidas and Sabbath to Ua getting numbers on him as they go around over the back to Maverick Oldfield, and he'll be wrapped up. Fifth tackle there. They pass it back. It's going to be Dingo now. Punts it downfield. A good kick there, and that's what they like to see more of. Corey Bell's going to let it go over the sideline. He'll take a breather there. And Raiders will get the ball back. Raiders working it out of a tough position here. And it's a good kick there from uh, Chaz Dingo. You were talking about his kicking ability earlier. That's a very nice kick. Uh, perhaps they swap him. Perhaps they put Will K in the six and Chaz Dingo in the seven. That could be an option. I mean, the roles would be reversed and uh, perhaps uh, K would take the ball on more. Take the line on more, sorry. Yeah, I think, you know, I think Will K just sort of has to, sort of just has to give, have more confidence in himself. Because I think that, 
his best aspect is his running game. Whereas Dingo, you know, obviously Dingo, you prefer to position the fullback, but as a half, I think he is more of a kicker compared to OK. Interesting to see how that goes now as it goes out there to um, Jake and Morrison. He's wrapped up fourth tackle on the 40. Jack and seems to be setting up for a 40-20. Here he is. As that is a very good kick. I don't think it's going to be big enough. No. As KCK. This is dangerous. Oh. We wrapped up there by Eli Barnes. Again, they're kicking something letting them down, the Raiders. Yeah, again, it's Jack O'Neill. I think that they... I think he just needs to take a deep breath and get his kicking right. Because that wasn't... That was never even a chance of being a 40-20. KCK was always there. And uh, ready to pounce on that. O'Neill, I think he just... Maybe it's the nerves hitting him. He's been pretty shaky so far. He needs to just rein it in, get some good kicks away. As that's a good play there. Out to Joey Kelly there. Taken there. KCK getting the pass along to him. He'll be wrapped up 15 meters out now. The Raiders cannot afford to let them score here. Short ball there. The big skipper, Matt. The vice skip. Sorry, Matt Harris is on. Now, obviously injured last week. Coming off the bench this week. Let's see how they go now. As it goes, Dingo. Grubbers it in. Picked up by Ben Arnold. Good pressure there by the Raiders, and they survive yet another attack by the Seagulls. Yeah, that was good rushing defense. Just making sure Chaz Dingo wasn't able to get the grubber kick away there. And um, the Raiders will be happy with that. They need to work it out of their own end again. I just want to see a good kick from the Raiders in this set. They need to get on top of that. Yeah, I think Chaz Dingo actually managed to get the, his foot to the ball. We often see them those ones knocked on, but it was just... You know, the Raiders also managed to get one of their foots to the balls. Oh. What are they doing here? As, what was that? Um, Jack O'Neill kicks it across field to Luke Thompson, but they get, they force a penalty. Luke Thompson trying to get a quick play to ball. Manny hold him down, and this is a good opportunity for the Raiders. Uh, I'm so confused as to what happened there. <laughs> I mean, the kick from O'Neill, I'm not sure what he was doing. Luke Thompson managed to grab it, and then Manly... Giving away a held and tackle penalty, that's very uncharacteristic. And uh, Raiders with another chance maybe to tie the game up. As they throw a long ball over there, that was a good ball, but the... Will K read it well, put pressure onto Eli Barnes there. As they go through the hands once more. Get it to John Boy Marva. He's taken there. Just past the third in our third tackle. And he'll be setting up for a good kick here. Short ball there! The Sabbath to Uwa! Back on the inside, but Lennox Prakash oh. once again is there. He should have just held it. He was looking so good. He should have held it. Got the play of the ball, and the Raiders, they're in a really good position there, but instead he maybe got a bit spooked through the pass. Prakash is there, as he often is, and um, great stuff from Manly. Yeah, it was, oh, it was looking so good to have to over there. You know, if he just puts on a little bit of footwork there, maybe he could have got past KSK himself there, but he just went for the pass. The miracle play. And Leonard Prakash was there as it's now going to be mainly with the ball here. As they put pretty good defense here, Raiders. Only allowing them to get up to the 40, which we're used to seeing mainly go pretty much length of the field every set. So that's definitely improved set defensive set there. And their line speed there by the Raiders. As Corey Bell with a good run there. Nine minutes remaining here. If you're just joining us. Man, they're only leading 6 0 so far. What are the um, Raiders going to fix up, Jack, to sort of, you know, get that next try? Because they're getting down the field, just not far enough down the field. Well, I think I've mentioned it a couple of times. I think their kicking game is killing them at the moment. Uh, they've got the opportunities, but the kicking has um, pretty much blown those out of the water. They don't. They're ruining their uh, chances before they can even uh, really take them. So, yeah, they just need to calm themselves down, get their kicking right, and uh, I think they'll be all right. This goes back to Jack O'Neill, and at this time, it's not it's not deep enough. Taken with relative ease by Maverick Oldfield, and again, their kicking game, Jack O'Neill. It just isn't working for them. As a massive oh, shot put on there, Jordan Williams away. He's going to get taken there by OK. Just shot the line. This is the opportunity the Raiders need. Goes Leonidas. He pushes forward for the line. Is he over? No. Tim James, short there to Jack and Newton are in. The Raiders are in for their first try of the game. Forget the kicking game. He saw Will K struggle with his kicking. 
He's been doing the same. So he took another play out of Will K's book and just took the line on himself. Great stuff from Jack O'Neill. And the Raiders will probably tie the game up here. Yeah, what a what a play there by the Raiders. Who was it that put the big shot on them? I don't even know who dropped and who the big shot on was. I was not expecting that. Jordan Williams picked it up. Got a quick play the ball. And just two plays later, Jack O'Neill goes over. And just like that, it's about to be 6 all. Yeah, I don't know who it was either, but whoever it was, I'm sure the Raiders boys will be congratulating them. That uh, that has gotten them back into this game. It's six all. Uh, only about six minutes to go till half time. They'll be happy with this first half, the Raiders. Yeah, I mean, considering that the Raiders have a lot to probably be desired after some of their kicking performance in this first half, the Raiders should be very proud of themselves that it's uh, six nil. I'm um, six all. Sorry, you know the. Seagulls, I think they've been making meters with ease, but the last couple of sets, the Raiders defensively up in their faces, making brilliant tackles, and it ends up being a big shot that gets the Raiders back into it. Or well, maybe not back into it, but tied tied the game, in fact. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I think this oh, set, no. I was just about to say this set is so important for them to not make an error. But as I was trying to get it out, Manly uh, intercept the ball. They've got a chance to take the lead into half time. As Matt Harris, the captain, looking for a try, and he's going to get one. The big vice skipper coming off the bench this week, playing in the middle. And there was a couple offloads in that play. Second phase footy from Manly. And he juggled it there. Eli Barnes couldn't get across field quick enough, and that's going to sting for the Raiders. They did so well. Yeah. And yeah, very disappointing. Very disappointing from the Raiders. I mentioned I this. They, uh... Sorry, go on. Uh, I think that they'll be very disappointed with that. I mean, they had a chance to be tied going into the sheds. I don't think they'll score another try in this half. I mean, there's not too much time left, and Manly will have the ball. Unless, of course, they make an error as well. But, uh, yeah, Raiders, that, that one hurts. Yeah, I feel like I mentioned this nearly every single game, but the most important set, in, sometimes the most important set in a game, is a set after you score points. And if they lose by six points, who knows? Who knows? You know, like, the Raiders. This is a spot for a grand final, and throwing a ball like that just after you score points is so detrimental. And it only took two plays. I played the ball, and then Matt Harris just does a bit of footwork and gets over us. Takes another hit up there. The Raiders, I think they've just got the half time, the Raiders. They need to regroup after that one, because that was... Yeah, that's very disappointing. There's Ben Punch of a big run. Captured by Elon Barnes. There's still four minutes left. They've got to make sure that the Manly Seagulls don't score another one, actually, as they get up to halfway here. Matt Harris with another rampaging run. Goes Will K. Casey K. Gets it on to Malachi Booth. Gets past one. Takes on Eli Barnes. Gets it off. Flow to Joshua Blackburn. Fourth tackle now. They go short side here. Malachi Booth gets past one. It'll be taken there by Jason Lomu. Fifth tackle now. We're going to want to put a good attack and kick here now. Punch puts it high. That's a beautiful kick. Great kick. In fact, tap back, but it's going to be knocked on. And Jordan Woolies picks it up. He's over to 30. I think he'll get caught, but wow, the Raiders, they just survived that and now they're in a good attacking position. Yeah, he's a bit too slow, Jordan Williams. He might need to work on his speed because if, if he had any type of speed, he would have gotten away then. Would have been gone. No one to catch him, but uh, he gets reeled in and maybe the Raiders have one more shot. At Manly before half time. Well, if they can get over here, well, that would just do massive stuff for their confidence going into half time. It ba basically would be try for tries to go out to Jacob Morrison. Gets nearly past Casey K. 40 might have been getting away from him there for a second, but Casey K does well to recover that. Fourth tackle now. Jack O'Neill gives it short there. I think that's a knock oh, on it is. And oh my god, the Raiders. That would have been. <sighs> that's not great. They really needed to try there. You can't be making these errors against Manly. You've got to take those opportunities. You had a chance to make it 12 all going into the break. Or even two-point margin. They just wasted it, and that might come back to bite them. As now Manly. They're not actually done here, but I guess they are done now. As we head into halftime, the Manly Seagulls leading the Canberra Raiders 12 points to 6.
back after that second, first half, well, half-time break, sorry. The uh, Raiders being down. They nearly had an opportunity to score just before the break, but another error cost them. Drawing how Fetu was knocking it on this time. And Manly are going to kick off here. Okay, it is. The Raiders will get first to the footy. What do they have to do to sort of get, you know, again? They just have to fix the errors, don't they, I guess? Yeah, that's the big thing. I mean, they've been their own worst enemy. If Manly had the amount of opportunities that the Raiders have had in this game so far, I think Manly would be up by about 20. But uh, the Raiders unable to capitalize. A few poor kicks from Jack O'Neill. And um, a few poor errors from the Raiders. I mean, they just need to fix that up. That's the big thing. Use your opportunities. Stop wasting them. And um, that will be well and truly in this game. Yeah, well, because I, I personally think that physically, the Raiders are matching it with Manly. It's just the errors in their kicking game letting them down. And, well, you can match them with them physically, but someone still has to win. And if you're going to make more errors than them and have worse kicks, that is actually a lot better than what we've seen in this first half. In that first half, but if you're not going to be able to, if you're going to make errors, then you're just not going to be able to have the opportunities to potentially score points. They're ruling themselves out of the game, Raiders. And if you know, I really want to see Manly's winning streak come to an end. You know, it'd be good, it'd be good for the community. But so far, the Raiders are unable to match it with them. And well, as we see, it's Jesse Bennett. Oh, he's away, just like that. Oh, is he? Luke Thompson, oh. sorry, Jack O'Neill comes out of nowhere to make a tackle. Jesse Bennett, I thought was good for all buddies. He plays it there, Cole Lewis. Goes out to what Will Cade is there, plays it there. Tackled stand still as it goes short there to Jesse Bennett. And he doesn't score. What the fence there by the Raiders. Jesse. That was great. That was great from Jack O'Neill. He came out of nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. I thought that Jesse Bennett was gone. I was like, he's gone. Right, Manly going to start this half brilliantly, but then somehow Jack O'Neill just put, went into fifth gear and just caught up to him out of nowhere. Luke Thompson too, but Jack O'Neill, what a tackle. That is something I have to build off the Raiders. That was an inspiring chase down there by Jack O'Neill. And well, it's going to be the Raiders. They now have an opportunity here. They have to use, they have to build off that. That was a brilliant chase down, but it means nothing if they can't even score points to back it up with. So they go over to Jack O'Neill. Manly, as mentioned before, currently tracing the free peat. You know, they have not, and they haven't lost the game either as Malachi Booth juggles it and takes it over the sideline. And this is going to be a massive opportunity here for the Raiders. They need a score here, the Raiders. It's a great kick. It forces an error uh, from Malachi Booth and the Raiders. We spoke about opportunities a few times in this game. This is one of them. you got to take it. They've got to tie this game up. The Raiders need to score here. It was certainly about it was to put the kick in too off the bench. They go short there. A massive shot put on. Sap to Ua. Can't recollect it. And another error is going to cost them the Raiders. They just cut. They're their own worst enemy at the moment. Yeah, they certainly are. I mean, that was uh, that was just poor from the Raiders. Manly, again, survive. And um, the Raiders aren't going to win this game by uh, by doing that stuff. The Raiders, they just need to... They just need to stop making so many errors again. If, you know, if that doesn't happen, is what's happened here? Dingo! Kicked it for Malachi Booth, but just kicked it out of the full. Okay, we'll talk about that. That won't be the worst kick of the night. Yeah, that was shocking. But again, it provides the Raiders an opportunity. They need to take it. Sound like a broken record tonight, but it's that's they've it, had very many opportunities, the Raiders, and they haven't taken any, so they need to start doing that. Yeah, this game, you'd expect this game considering first versus second, winner goes into a grand final. To be a very tight physical battle, but what seems to happen is to Manly make an error, provide Raiders with an opportunity, and then Raiders just make an error to basically nullify that opportunity. Yeah. As a short ball given there to Sabbath to Ill, that was very dangerous there. Pretty much a hospital pass as Jack O'Neill goes wide to Wally Allen charging onto it. Fourth tackle now. They need to find something here. Jack O'Neill, and he's dropped it there. Oh. What is happening? The Raiders, they need to get their stuff together. 
I just, I don't know what to fix. That Raiders, this is, are we sure this isn't 7 versus 8 for not, are we sure this isn't, yeah, are we sure this isn't 7 versus 8? They're making that many errors that it might as well be. This is not what I'd expect for a first versus second battle. And both teams need to be careful because, although they're definitely the favorites for the premierships, the Cowboys and Warriors, they're not slackers. They're definitely not slackers and, you know, I hate to think what might happen if they don't fix this errors up for the next two weeks. We might have... One of a surprise premiership winner. As KCK plays it there. This is a better set for Manly. It goes Ben Pudge. He'll get it up there. Just past the 30 now. It's going to go down to Chaz Dingo. Given there to Corey Bell. And he's wrapped up there. Got an interesting rivalry on this, um, on this wing here for Corey Bell with, um, Obviously, you being the captain of the side next season. Corey Bell versus Joey Kelly. He'll be teammates next season. It's an interesting battle there now for the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it is an interesting battle. They're getting to know each other very well. They'll uh, link up at the Broncos next season. So, uh, hopefully they don't go too hard at each other. Don't want to... Don't want them hating each other. Yeah, you also don't want to risk any, obviously, any injuries, you know. ACL tears might wolf them out for uh, next season. With them too. You don't want that happening. <laughs> Going too hard. As Jack and Neil, that's Luke Thompson. That is actually that's probably one of the best kicks of the night. But is it too deep? Oh, it's is too it? deep. I think. No, it's gonna bounce up perfectly. Oh, it sits up. Oh, what a kick by Luke Thompson, and that's how you get your team back into it. Yeah, that was a beautiful kick by Luke Thompson. He's just taking the reins there. He said, "I've had enough of your kicking, Jack. Give me the ball," and he absolutely nails that one. And that's a beautiful kick from Luke Thompson. That is just one of the. That's one of the kicks of the season. That might just bring Raiders back into it, but again, they have to use it. No errors from Raiders here, please. Eli Barnes pushes forward there on the 20. Goes Luke Thompson. He takes on the line himself. Wrapped up there by Matthew Harricks and... Not sure who the other one was, but he goes over to Jack O'Neill. Fourth tackle. Let's see what they can do here. Goes long pass over to Wally Allen. Pushes forward now. We're going to have to put a good kick in here. It's Jack and it looks like he's going to put it in. He is going to put it in. That's not the kick. That isn't the kick. But he taps it back anyway. And it might be the kick. And Eli Barnes scores. Wow, that was really good work from Barnes to reposition. He was going under it. You could see him. He was under the ball. And then he repositioned himself back behind when he realized that Leondis would tap it back to him. And Eli Barnes gets the try to put the Raiders back tied in within this game. Eli Barnes, a player that could turn, turn nothing into something. Jack Anu, I was thinking the grubber kick. There was a massive space for a grubber kick in the middle there, for which I thought was a try, but he puts it high. I was like, no, 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 no. But somehow, I think Manly would just pass it with that kick. They let Aaron Leonidas jump up and tap it back. The big front rower. Yeah. It's certainly not the um, first choice jumper for the Raiders, I don't think. But uh, I'm sure Raul Caval will be uh, pretty happy with that one. Maybe they do start... Maybe they check him out on the wing. Put some bombs out his way. I mean, Manly, but it's so passive on that kick. They just didn't really attack the ball. I know Leon this, you know, was the one that tapped about, But realistically, he could have just caught it and ran over himself. There was just no pressure at all on the catches there. And Manly, finally, the errors... That they've been making end up binding them in the ass, and well, the Raiders they've tied things up now. They have to continue with the job now. As this is good, see what about it up the middle, gets it off in fact, Jack and it is away. Jack and has oh, gone. Jack and gonna run 50 meters, and the Raiders go back to back. Wow, manly, manly, manly. They've been making errors all game, poor kicking, not being manly like, and it is finally. Just a matter of time before the Raiders started to put the on switch on. And Jack O'Neill, he hasn't had the best night, but the last two plays he's uh, been heavily involved in. And the Raiders hit the front. I mean, Jack O'Neill, he's had a very often on night. We talk about it. He needs to run the ball more. Both his tries that he scored, he's got two tries now, have been from just support playing and running it. He needs to hand the kick into Luke Thompson. He's the kicker. And Jack, you do the running. You're the runner tonight. As Luke Thompson's going to convert it. And Raiders, they have the lead for the first time tonight. 
When was the last time Manly considered a back-to-back -back try? I'm not sure. Um, probably the Eels, right? Yeah, actually, they might have against the Eels, to be fair. That is that is true, actually. What about back off kickoffs, though? Even off kickoffs, have they even really conceded many tries? Like, Yeah, probably the Eels. I'm pretty sure the Eels did it Um, to make it, like, 24-12. Yeah, that actually might be true now, but now that I think about it, it wasn't that long ago. But it's not often we see it happen, nonetheless, as the Raiders... They have to be careful, you know, but Manly... It's going to be interesting now, because Manly, they don't usually have to chase leads. Obviously, they did it against the Eels, but... It's not something they're used to doing. They're usually already ahead, so... The Raiders... Yeah, well, Raiders, they certainly... They may have the lead, but they're certainly not out of the woods yet. Uh, Manly, they can put points on, and they can put them on quick, so... They don't need to slack... They don't want to slack off the Raiders, because they're far from winning this game. As good pressures put on there by Wally Allen. As they go back, they've learned from their mistakes, Luke Thompson, but that wasn't that wasn't as good as his last kick. I think it came off the side of the boot, and Manly, this is what they needed. They'll start to set on the 50. That's what they can do now as it goes wide. Joey Kelly, but he's wrapped up well there by Corey Bell and John Boy Marva. Playing it there. Goes back to Matt Harris. He'll take a hit up here. Holding out for a little long, I thought the Raiders. They're going to say play on those. It goes Casey K up the middle now. Takes on Eli Buds, but he gets around to make a good tackle there. That could have been dangerous there. He'll play it though. Eight meters out now. Goes there. Daniel Punch is put on his back. Fifth tackle now. Five meters out. They did put a good kick here. It goes. The Dingo takes on the line himself, and he's going to get held up there. Oh. What was that from Chaz Dingo? That wasn't. He just took the line on it. it he didn't even seem to have much speed or, like, strength to, like, really threaten the line there. He just kind of took the tackle. I'm not really sure what that was about. Let him go. Yes. And Manly, just not seeming on tonight. We know how good Chasnigo's grubber kicks is. One of the most dangerous grubber kicks in the comp. Surely he would have put a little grubber kick in here to get a repeat set or potentially try out of it. But he just, he just didn't have much doing there. It seemed kind of a dead play, to be honest. Yeah, it certainly did. Asiona Matauz takes the tackle there. Fourth tackle. Playing the lock role. He's been very good at that role since round three when he started doing it. As Wally Allen will play it there. Fifth tackle. Again, they need a good kick here. Jack and is going to be. That's a much better the kick that we've been seeing. Fielded there by Malachi Booth. As he's straight through. Oh. He's dangerous. That was dangerous there, Malachi Booth. One of the best kick returners in the comp. They got lucky there. That could have been there. Dangerous as... They gotta call the Raiders offside there. Smart thing from Matt Harris to run into an offside player and mainly they need to use this opportunity. Yeah, they certainly do. It's all been about the Raiders opportunities tonight, but uh started to they've started to flip the script now and Manly. They uh they kinda of butchered their last opportunity on the Raiders line. They don't want to do that again. Absolutely monster in the tackle there, Joshua Blackburn. Yeah, I think it's going to be very dangerous. They give a short there to Matt Harris, and he's knocked it on. Hell, the tables have turned now as... Let me go back here. 4AR for a scrum for... S I think the ref's lost his mind here. As... Oh, now there's a penalty. As the Raiders, they've got the march up field once more, and well... This is not looking good for Manly. There's still 19 minutes to go. Only down by 6. But... Once again, they just need to stop making errors. It wasn't, it wasn't that long ago we were saying the same about the Raiders. And now it's flipped the script and now Manly need to stop making errors. Yeah, I feel like I feel like this isn't Manly. This isn't the Manly we're used to. Um, they haven't looked good pretty much the entire night. Even when they've been uh, scoring tries. They just... Um, it's, it's odd. It's an odd um, situation because it doesn't... They've been quite bad, Manly. As Eli Barnes will take it down on the 20. Third tackle now. So you know, listen, a massive shot put on there. That's going to inspire some stuff. Daniel Punch, I think that was. It might have even been Kyle Lewis, the small fella. As Taranga how Fetu pushes forward. Fifth tackle now. Plays it there. Goes back. O'Neill puts it high. That's that's a better kick, in fact. As Bre Ethan Goodwin, sorry. He's going to take it there. And now... Mainly have to work away from their own line. 
Because it seems we have an error, um, an injury here. Cole Lewis it is. As they're spreading it on their own line here, Manly. Jesse Bennett it is. Playing it there as... Concerned inside here, Cole Lewis has come from the field. That's, that's big, in fact. Yeah, that's, that's, um... That's quite concerning. It looks like Brad Goodwin has gone to hooker, which is also very interesting. Um, maybe that'll swap at some point, but I never thought of Brad Goodwin as the hooker type. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he goes there. The big front rower. He'll be working up his fitness for, for whoever the versus this. There's Corey Bell. He's away here, Corey Bell. He's very quick. Casey K is chasing oh. him. I think he's going to get caught here, but how far is he going to go? Casey K ends up, he ends up taking him to the 10-meter line. Manly can all afford to concede here. Place it there, Tim James. Jack O'Neill, long ball over. Wally Allen it's going to be. Place it there, just five meters out from the line. Jack O'Neill, short ball there, and they're going to call a forward. So close for the Raiders. They almost made the lead two converted tries. But uh, just a little forward pass there from O'Neill, and, and Manly, they'll be us breathing a big sigh of relief. Yeah, the thing is, the gap just opened up for Ben Arnold, but pass forward nonetheless. And it was only marginally forward, but marginally forward is still, in fact, forward. And the Raiders, they were very close there. As Matt Harris down, that's, someone, that's a big run they needed as he breaks past Eli Barnes. Gets an offload, in fact, Ethan Goodwin. Ethan Goodwin, Caval's chasing. Caval's going to get it. What a try saver by Rahul Caval. He'll play it there. Fourth tackle now. They go back over to Matt Harris. Throws it over to Joey Kelly. And he's wrapped up there by Corey Bell. Fifth tackle. It's going to be Will K. Grub is in it. I think he's dropped that he has. And another error for Manly. I, um... This has been so weird. Perhaps Manly were just a little bit complacent coming into this game. Obviously winning last week against the Raiders. But it seems that they, uh... They're slacking off a bit. They haven't been... Very good. They've been disjointed. Their kicking's been bad. They've made a ton of errors. I'm really not sure what's going on with Manly tonight. It's quite interesting. You know, the Raiders, they've managed to chase down quite a few big plays. Rahul Caval chasing out Ethan Goodwin. And obviously the one that started it all, Jack O'Neill chasing down Jesse Bedouin. Everyone in the grandstand. 40 was good for all money. Is Jason Lomu looks for a 40-20. I think it's got the distance. Has it got the angle? It hasn't. KCK just managed to keep it in there. The Raiders. They're playing well. Mainly aren't playing up the speed and well. They're only up by six still. Anyone can still win. Yeah, it's certainly anyone's game, this one. Uh, especially with Manly, the one chasing. I mean, they haven't been good tonight, but they do have the skill to chase down. I think even if it was 12 points, I'd still have faith in Manly to come back. Um, so, yeah, this game's far from over. As once again, they contain Joey Kelly. That's another player who's been quite quiet tonight. In fact, I think both wingers, for the most part, a lot of mainly strikes powers, have been able to be kept, kept relatively quiet tonight, which is not so full news to see. They definitely managed to after, well, Eli Barnes ran 200 plus meters last week. Definitely done their homework, the Raiders. And managed to keep the pair of them quiet. As Eli Barnes plays it there, gives it a sound to where he's a player who's been absolutely terrific tonight. Still 10 minutes to go. Still anyone's game is mentioned, but the Raiders, they've just got to keep it here now. They've just got to keep it here. They've just got to keep completing sets. They can't give the the, the Seagulls an opportunity as Eli Barnes plays it there. Luke Thompson, that's a poor kick. That's an opportunity. Chaz Digger's going to take it down. We'll talk about Jack and Neil's poor kick. And Luke Thompson, he's had a couple good kicks, but he's also had a couple shockers. Yeah, they've certainly swapped roles. I mean, I haven't seen O'Neill kick as much in the second half. And uh, Luke Thompson, although he's had some decent ones, he's he's also looked just as bad as O'Neill with that kicking. I think they need to work on that, whether or not they make week two of the finals or the grand final. Regardless of the result, they need to work on that kicking game. As, well, they start on the 40th set, and they're only on the 34th tackle now. Is that the big run? Maverick Goldfield He's quick. Uh, Eli Barnes is going to get him. Maverick Goldfield looked to go close there. That's the fifth tackle. They need a big kick here. And they're going to drop it once more. Ugh. How many errors has Chaz Dingo made tonight? And Wilkay. Uh, more than a few. Yeah, more than a few for both of them. 
especially when you consider kicking as, as well. Like they've kicked, they've had some shocking kicks that I won't go down on the column as an error. This has just been, this has been abysmal for Manly. That's throwing out how Fetu now. They get an offload. Luke Thompson, it is. And the thing is, I don't even think the Raiders have been that good. They've had a quite, um, a, they've had quite a few shocking kicks. You know, as now John Boy Arthur. If the Raiders can score here, I always say they lock it up from here. Third tackle now. Plays it there. Luke Thompson. Remember, 20 wins in a row is what Manly have. They'll be breaking that streak should Raiders win here tonight. Wally Allen plays it there. And again, 70 meters gain in a set. What a set from the Raiders. As Jack and Hill calling for it. Puts it high. That's a good kick. It's going to be tapped. Taken there by Jason Lomu. But he's going to be wrapped up. And Manly survive once more. But they've got to go 19 meters to the trial line now. Well, Manly have five and a half minutes. The clock is ticking. They need to get some points on the board. They need to tie this game back up. Maybe send it to Golden Point if they want to win this game. KCK, that'll go a long way to their efforts. Um, Manly, they're going to need a miracle. But uh, like I've said this before, if any team were to pull it off, I think it's Manly. What in particular do Manly need to fix, though, to sort of get there? I mean... Keep in mind, the score on the half time was 12-6. They haven't scored a try or half. What is what do they need to fix? They just need to stop making errors. They've had the they've had the opportunities, but they just made errors on all of their anytime they've been down the end, they just need to not drop the ball. It's that simple. Um, I think that they could have scored a few more tries if they had to just not drop the ball. I'll give credit where credit's due. I do think the it was, um the rate there's defense, sorry has been quite good, even so, with the errors. They've been putting a lot of pressure on Manly's kickers, especially Dingo and Wilkay. So, but even so, you'd expect better from, probably for best half combination in the comp. Yeah, as, you certainly would, I mean, yeah. As the captain, Rahul Kaval takes it here. Manly, a set takes roughly two minutes. They might get one more set here as Jack O'Neill. That's not what they needed. Kicks across there. It's going to be taken there by Matt Harris. They'll start on the 50. They'll get one set, Manly. This might be the final time they touch the ball. Chaz Dinger gets it flat-footed. Pushes forward. 45 meters out now. Goes over. Joshua Blackburn now. Taken there by the skipper, Rahul Kaval and Tim James there. Dingo gets out the KCK, gives it a Will K. He's put back and a big tackle, fourth tackle. They're not even in the third inside the Raiders 30 yet. Fourth tackle. There's a minute and a half remaining in this game. Goes over to Dingo. And again, the Raiders' line speed here has made it so Manly can't make many meters here. As they kick it over, Jesse Bennett it was. They don't do anything. And now the Raiders, Corey Bell it is, takes it there and they might be... They've got the one foot inside the grand final appearance for the Raiders. 20 wins in a row. Dating back to round 5. Season 2. And the Raiders are about to break it. Luke Thompson pushes forward. 15 seconds to go. The Raiders are heading to their maiden SRL grand final. And the Manly Seagulls got a date next week. For the final spot in the grand final. The Manly Seagulls winning streak has finally ended after 20 wins in a row. Jack Cole, what's your thoughts on this? Oh, uh, this is something absolutely special. For those of you that don't know, I have never seen Manly lose since I've been in the SRL. That is how long this winning streak has gone on for. I've witnessed their first loss tonight. And boy, the Raiders, they dominated them, didn't they? 65% possession. That is uh, quite the stark difference. Yeah, the Raiders. You know, Manly, they had more line breaks, which means that when Manly were getting the ball, they were still making heaps more line breaks, but the Raiders scrambled a fence. You know, it was crazy. And Manly, 11 errors to Raiders, 9. That's not what you would expect from first versus second. But let's take a look at the stats here. Manly, their winning streak has ended. This is just... It's been a long time for Manly, and they'll be... They'll need to get up next week for a massive game next week. 
Yeah, they certainly will be, whether or not they verse uh, the Cowboys or the Warriors. It'll be um, quite the match as uh, the Raiders, they're into the grand final. I think they could win it, to be honest. Um, they certainly didn't look amazing tonight, but they have looked really good throughout the season. They're looking at making them maiden grand final for Raiders. They've never been in a grand final before. Obviously being introduced back in season two. This is their second final series and in their grand final. As this has just been Jack O'Neill four errors. They will need to fix that up yeah. for the grand final. That is not what you'd expect. Yeah, I mean errors were like the key thing tonight. I mean, we saw the manly ones earlier. There was most of them had above two. Um, well, some of them had above two, and Dingo had three. Um, that's just not not good enough to win a game of uh, SRL footy. And it's very uncharacteristic for Manly. I mean, could we see them out in straight certs? Do you think they'll pull it together? It's Manly Seagulls. They've, this is their first win loss since all the way back in Season 2. I think it's going to be interesting to see the response because they haven't had to respond to something like this ever. Well, since not since Season 2. So, it'll be interesting to see... I'm your host, the SRO Commissioner, Lachlan Martin. Thank you, Jack Carl, for joining us. And I'll see you all later.